Are you looking to be able to do cool cinematic shots of your Minecraft world kind of like this? How about kind of like this one here? Well, if that is what you're looking for, then look no further, because today I'm going to show you how to install Replay Mod for 1.17 on your computer. What's up guys, this is King Elfie, and we're going to jump into a tutorial in a sec here. But before we do, I just want to let you know that if you do find anything helpful in this tutorial, to hit the like button, because that way people will know that this tutorial is actually working. And also, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel, because I do a bunch of really cool replay mod footage on my own in my LP series on the Enigma SMP server. But without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. Alright, so for the purposes of this video, I'm going to be working with the clean.minecraft folder. So we're going to open up our .minecraft by using the Windows button on your keyboard and R. So that'll open up your run manager and just do percent app data percent in there and enter and you should be able to open your .minecraft folder. If you don't see it there, that means you haven't run the game before, so just run the game and then your .minecraft folder should appear. It'll look something like this when it's first loaded, so we're going to right click and add a folder called mods if you haven't already. Next we're going to install the fabric loader. So this is the mod loader that's going to load the replay mod for you. So you're just going to head to fabricmc.net, the link will be in the description below and head to this hyperlink here. So this is going to bring you to the download for the fabric launcher and you're going to download the universal jar and that's going to give you just a .jar file and all you need to do is click on this guy that you just downloaded and it will open an exe launcher. Just make sure that you have 1.17.1 selected or whatever version of Minecraft you're downloading replay for and hit install. After you've installed Fabric, when you open up Minecraft, in the bottom corner here you should see Fabric Loader 1.17.1. That means that it has been successfully installed and you can move on to the next step. Now that you have the Fabric Loader installed, you need to head to Replay Mod's website. Once again, link will be in the description. It should look like this and hit Download Now. That'll bring you to the download page and then just hit the latest version of Replay. You'll see that it requires Fabric to launch. So hit the big download button and that should just download it for you here. After you've downloaded the mod, take it from wherever it's downloaded to, most likely your downloads folder, head back into your .minecraft folder and open up that mods folder that we made earlier. Now you're just going to drag and drop replay jar into that mods folder and we can move on to the next step. From here I want you to open up your Minecraft launcher and launch it under the fabric launcher just to make sure that things are working. And provided that it does, the screen should look something like this, with a replay mod logo in the corner here. So if you click on that, that's going to be where your replay stuff is stored, and we are going to need this for the next step. For the next step, you're going to need to open up a test world or something and make a recording for a few seconds. All you should have to do is hit the start recording button in the corner here. Run that for a few seconds and then stop it. Now your saved replay footage should be inside that thing that I showed you earlier. You can open that up and I just need you to drop a keyframe and a time frame in two different spots, doesn't really matter where. That way we can hit the save button here. So that should open this screen right here and this is going to be your save menu for the replay mod. So the reason that we're here is you need to fill out this command line here. Because if we try and render it right now, it's going to tell us that the rendering failed because we don't have FFmpeg. That's our next step. Now, to get FFmpeg, all you need to do is head to their website, ffmpeg.org, link will be in the description, and hit the download button. This website does change from time to time, so you may have to do a little searching for the buttons that I'm going to tell you, but it's always the same steps. So, from here you're going to want to make sure you've selected the Windows builds, and then hit the first link here. And from here, you're going to be able to find all the Windows builds for FFmpeg. So you're just going to have to scroll down here to where it says Git. So you're not going to want to click these right here because it'll give you a 7-zip file. You can do that if you have something to open it like WinRAR or 7-zip. But I would suggest just going to the mirror here because that's going to bring you to their GitHub page where you can actually just download a zip. You can get the full build or the essential build, but all you need for Replay Mod is the essential build. Once the download's finished, head to your C drive and head to Program Files 86. So this is where you're going to want to extract the folder to. So go ahead and extract this folder to your Program Files 86, however way you want to do it. I usually just drag and drop. So provide administrator permission because you're dragging something into your C drive. You've now got this extracted into your C drive. I'm going to get you to right click it and rename it because it's got a really long name right now and that's going to present problems later. So just leave it as FFmpeg. 
and that should be good. So now you're going to come back to this screen that you were on earlier and go back to your program files 86. And right here where we extracted that FFmpeg folder, open that up and head into the bin and you'll find FFmpeg right here. So what you're going to do is right click that and I believe it's properties and yeah. So you'll get this right here. You're going to copy the location of your FFmpeg. So control C and inside the command line, control V. And now you're just going to have to add on the end here, slash FFmpeg dot exe. And that should be all you need to do. Now, when we hit the render button, it's actually going to work rather than crashing on us. And now FFmpeg is completely installed and set up. Actually, with that being said, Replay Mod in general is set up on your computer now. So you can go ahead and play around with Replay. I do have a tutorial for that, which I will link in the top right hand corner here. But if you want a more up to date tutorial, let me know in the comments down below because I can definitely make one. But that's going to be about it for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And like I said, if you did enjoy the video, make sure to hit the like button. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. I do a ton of really cool stuff with Replay in my LP series on the Enigma SMP server, which I generally tend to upload videos for on Mondays. So if you want to see cool stuff like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel. That way you don't miss it. But with that being said, I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.